Marshall from Ram Clutches. Today we're going to take a look at the Ram Force 9.5 dual disc clutch system. Now, dual disc clutch is a really good choice for late model performance vehicles, early model muscle cars, uh, resto mods where you need to address a real high torque situation but yet you still want to maintain good drivability. Uh, and that's really the premise behind all of the Ram dual disc clutches is to give you the best drivability possible, smooth engagement, and be able to address those high torque loads. Now let's take a look at the components that make up the Ram Force 9.5 dual disc clutch system. First is the flywheel. The flywheel is the foundation of any good clutch system and all Ram units include the flywheel with the clutch. This is because we, again, we want to make sure that the setup height is proper so that it's going to be a bolt into the vehicle you're not going to have any issues with the clutch once you do install it. You'll notice a real nice surface grind finish, this crosshatch pattern on the flywheel's insert. Uh, this is going to ensure that you're going to have a good flat mating surface for the clutch disc to seat against and it's going to minimize the amount of break-in time. Uh, all these units are also balanced from the factory. Uh, they're going to be balanced to whatever that factory specification is or if you have a custom engine application and you need us to match balance the flywheel and we have the capability to do that as well. Um, the ring gear is replaceable as well as the insert in the flywheel so if you need to have the clutch rebuilt we can do that for you without a problem. For the clutch discs, we're using a steel back organic facing material on each of the discs and this gives you a real good rotational strength. It's not going to try and break the facing off the clutch disc. Uh, you also see a sprung hub on the top disc. Now, the sprung hub is designed to absorb some of the initial shock on engagement as you're taking off. Uh, it's going to keep it from transmitting that so much through the drive line. Bottom disc is going to be a solid hub. Good idea to keep an eye out. There are a lot of units out there that have two solid hub discs in them and you're not going to get that absorption uh, that you would get with the sprung hub top disc in the RAM unit. The floater plate, and we see the strap design here. Um, this is bolt on again right to the flywheel. Uh, you'll notice a little step there where the strap sits in position. Uh, so it's pretty much a foolproof install. This is going to give you a real nice quiet operation. You're not going to have any kind of rattle it idle or if you're sitting at a stoplight with a clutch pedal pushed in, you're not going to notice that in any way. For the pressure plate, we're using a uh, diaphragm with a very nice light pedal effort. It's going to give you a real good pedal feel, uh, very smooth and even all the way from top to bottom. We've noticed a lot on some of the later model applications that a lot of clutch pedals have kind of a breakover point where you feel the pedal go soft. This isn't going to give you that. It's going to be nice and smooth all the way through the travel range. So in summary, the Ram dual disc units are designed, number one, with street drivability in mind. We want to make sure that when you put this in the car, it's going to engage smooth, it's going to drive good, and it's going to hold the torque that you're going to throw at it. Our ability to engineer these units in-house, design, production, you know, gives us great control over the product, making sure that it's right for the particular application. And by including the flywheel in there, you know you're going to get a clutch that's set up to fit properly in your car and to go together one time the correct way. We hope you'll give us a try.